guys we're back on full circle with joyce uh thank you again for being a part of the show thank you for staying tuned all through i do appreciate you that guy right there his name is urban settler and he was singing that song right there it's called nakutazamia karibu sana to the show Asante sana. good to have you here you look very nice by the way thanks a lot i'm really liking this outfit <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot i do dapper. appreciate now mm. what are your real names um my name is felix wambua okay yeah Felix Wambua. Yeah. So how did you come up with the name Urban Settler? Um, the name Urban Settler is inspired by missionaries. Okay. By the time uh, the white settler farmers were coming to East Africa, their main aim was to preach the word of God. Mm -hmm. But then they found fertile land in Kenya, East Africa, and then farming came in place. So their first call was to preach the word of God. So. I found myself in Nairobi and my calling for music ministry revolves around four major topics, peace, love, hope and restoration. Mm -hmm. So I was inspired to, to be a settler, not only a settler, but my desire is not, to, is not to settle until the souls of young people come to Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you consider yourself a missionary then to yeah. this? Interesting. All right, so tell us about your style of music. Is this what we've heard just now? Is this um, your, your typical style? Do you have a style? Uh, actually, I began as a, as a poet. Okay. And then hip hop. Oh. And then kapuka. Okay, so, <laughs> I'm trying to imagine you doing hip hop. Uh, okay. That's where the gist came Naruka from. Ruka. So that's where <laughs> the gist came from because most of the people used to see hip hop artists are so radical, are so. So I happened to be at, at an environment where hip hop was, that is Korogocho and Dandora. Mm -hmm. And by then, Ukoflani and Kina Juliani, yes. they were coming up. Yeah. So the only music I was listening to was hip hop. Right. So through that environment, I started doing spoken word, hip hop. But through time, it has been a journey of learning the industry and getting to know what I'm good at. Okay. So right now, I believe I'm, I've settled at uh, Zook. Okay. Yeah. So how long ago was that when you were starting? Uh, around 2012. 2012. Yeah. And what, what, I mean, are you saying that because of the music that was around you, is that the reason you began to start? You know, even with the poetry, why did you begin? Why join the industry at all? Uh, while at high school, I used to, to, to love um, literature and foresee. Mm -hmm. And we used to belong, I used to belong to a group called uh, King's Messengers. 
okay. where we used to entertain our parents when they come to visit us. After high school, the music bug followed me because um, every now and then I used to get some tune in my mind, maybe walking, mm -hmm. uh, maybe sleeping, and then I used to record it on phone. So I got the interest to, to do music. And the thing that pushed me to do music is uh, we had a family friend who used to work at uh, Ogopa DJs. Okay. Uh, his name was Banda. So he was one of the managers at Ogopa DJs. And my aim to start music was my dad is a friend of this man. And I've heard of what he has done to some people in the industry. Mm. So I approached my dad that I want to do music. And uh, he wasn't for the idea. Mm. So he told me, it's either uchagwe masomo ama mziki because we cannot support one thing. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And so at that point you had to come to a very critical decision. At that point I chose to go to college. Okay. Yeah. And what did you study? Um, I studied journalism and okay. specialize in radio. Okay, yeah. okay, good for you. Thanks. So now with your music, you know, how are you feeling when you look back at your journey since 2012? How are you feeling about, you know, you've done a lot of transitions, obviously. Are you feeling much more settled now? Um, what are you working towards? What are some of the things that you really desire to see for yourself? Music uh, has exposed me to a, a, a new world, a new world of possibilities, a new world of addressing issues which maybe people are not willing to address. Uh, as I have said, my music revolves around peace, love, hope and restoration. Mm -hmm. Through the journey, um, I started an initiative called Mtakwa Mta Peace Initiative. Mm -hmm. And this was inspired by 2012 uh, elections. Okay. I used to, to be an intern mm -hmm. at Coach FM, which is at the heart of Korogosho. Okay. And then there were rumors that it's going to, uh, we were to have the recurrence of post-violence. Mm. So the only thing that came in my mind was I can address this issue through music. Okay. And then through the small show you, which I used to host at Coach FM every mid-morning. So I used to come up with a peace talk, in, a, a peace talk segment in the show. Okay. So music has given me an opportunity to address different issues right. concerning peace, love, family, so with that said then, do you consider yourself more of a, is it like an indie or a world artist uh, or are you a gospel musician or what role does the gospel music or gospel play in your music? I am a gospel artist and the, re the reason why I can say confidently I am a gospel artist is uh, I have experienced the love of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm through sharing it because one thing I believe is um, the Bible is not what we study but the person whom we encounter with mm -hmm. by experiencing that and through that we can share it through our experiences mm. yeah so I, I share it through my music okay so currently are you doing music then full-time yeah I'm doing music full-time and we do a lot of school missions okay. charity events okay yeah all right. Um, in a bit, you're going to be performing your song, Sifa, and I'll give you a chance to tell us a bit about that. But um, what? Uh, who are your influences now with the current phase that you're in? Again, given the transition you've been through and you're saying you're feeling like this is where you're supposed to be now. Uh, are there any influences that you look up to or people that you would really aspire to work with? Yeah, I've worked closely with uh, Bovi hmm. and I can see he's a good mentor. Mm -hmm. He has taught me a lot of how to relate with people, how to keep moving no matter what happens. Mm -hmm. And I look up to Masi Masika because um, she has not compromised. Mm. She has been there and I believe she has stood the test of time. Okay. Excellent. Well, in a bit, you're going to be t uh, perform. He's going to Urban Settler is going to be performing his song Sifa for us. But um, I want to know, like, which of you? How many songs do you have, by the way, now? Mm, currently, I have around seven videos. Seven videos out. Yeah. Good for you. Thanks. Is there one that really speaks to you? One that you feel like sums you up <laughs> in such a good way? Uh, every song for me is like this is one of the best. But uh, right now, the song which is speaking to me is Sifa. Okay. Because. Uh, 
the Bible says every creature that has breath can uh, should praise God. Mm. So Sifa talks about giving God all the best in terms of praising Him no matter the season. Mm. Yeah. All right. Well, guys, I think uh, I do want to give him a chance to perform his song um, entirely. But I also want to tell you about some exciting uh, changes that are coming to Full Circle with Joyce beginning next week, Monday. All right. Our show is being extended. Thank you guys so much for being part of this journey. Thank you for being a part of this show. And beginning Monday, we're going to be bringing you Full Circle beginning 8 to 10 a.m. every Monday to Friday. We're going to have some new segments, lots of things for you guys to look out for, conversations that we think are important for you to be a part of, you know, for you to be able to engage in. That's what we're going to be bringing to you, as well as many other interesting things. I don't want to spill all the beans, but it's still a surprise. I hope you've been watching my show, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a day had fun. Really? Yeah. Asante sana. But uh, on Monday, I hope you'll be tuned in. We're going to have some interesting surprises for our guests um, and for you who's watching at home. Remember, if you've missed any one of our episodes, you can catch them on our YouTube channel. That's at Switch TV Kenya. You can also catch the repeat today at 3 p.m. All right. So with that said, I want you to speak to the young people who are watching this. I, I, I appreciate that you've, you've really traveled right like yours has been a journey mm -hmm. really um from where you were raised where you were brought up discovering your sound discovering who you want to be and now finally saying you know what i feel like i know where i'm supposed to be it's gonna take a lot of work but i think this is where i'm going to be maybe you can speak to the young guys who are watching and just tell them you know give them a word of encouragement uh one thing i believe is uh, nothing is impossible and just to mention something uh, I'm a September baby. Oh, me too. <laughs> so yes. I have come up with an initiative called September Babies Charity Event. Okay. So I have brought together uh, September babies and we do charity event every September. So through this, we are giving back to the society. And I just, I'm just speaking this to inspire somebody who is out there that you don't need to have a lot so for you to make a change in the society. Mm -hmm. You just need to use what you have. Uh, and it's going to do a mileage in impacting our society. So, and one thing that speaks to me is when you look at your fingerprints, we don't share the fingerprints with anyone in the world. Mm -hmm. So that teaches me that I am the best of the Lord. Right. And I have a purpose that unless I do this, no one else will do it. So unless you do what God has called you to do, no one else will do. All right. Well, I'm going to give you our circle here for you to perform your song Sifa for us. Thank you so much once again for coming through. Very quickly, you can tell me what it's about. Uh, Sifa uh, talks about uh, the praises we should give God. Mm -hmm. That no matter the season we are in, we can afford to give God all the praises. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, Asanteni Sana again for your company and for being a part of this show um, these last seven months, actually. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a part of Full Circle, for all your comments and your feedback today and throughout the week. Have yourselves a wonderful weekend. I leave you now with Urban Settler performing his song, Sifa. Until Monday, uh, have yourselves a wonderful time. I'll see you soon. God bless. Ciao. Wayale daddy una tenda Oh, I'm 
Alleluia, Jesus. 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 Alleluia, Jesus.